Carolina Panthers. Arriving on the scene in 1995, the Panthers are the youngest franchise in the NFC South and have basically looked the same since their inception with one minor difference, the TV numbers on top of the shoulders. From 1995 to 2019, the shoulder numbers were legible, but starting in 2019, they've shrunk to the point of wondering why they even bothered putting them there. Seriously, am I the only one who noticed this? It's quite the coincidence that once the Panthers started using a Nike template instead of using the Reebok template like the Packers, the shoulder numbers began to shrink. I don't know why that's the case. There's plenty of designs older than the Panthers that still look fine on Nike's various templates, so who knows what the deal is. As for the team name, original owner Jerry Richardson chose it to represent strength and power that his son came up with. The home black is still good regardless even if the team hasn't been, whether it's paired with matching black pants, silver pants, or white pants. The same goes for the road white and all those pant combinations. However, we did get to see it paired with the blue pants, which was interesting I guess, but nothing to go crazy about. Their blue alternate has always been beautiful ever since debuting in 2002, though they've had it paired with matching blue pants from time to time as their color rush since 2015 and we saw it come back last year. Yeah, not a fan of the all blue look unless you want to pretend they're all cookie monster. All three uniforms are paired with their metallic silver helmet, which is fantastic. However, optionally, the all black look can be paired with a matte black helmet for the full-on blackout and it is stunning! That said, we were teased a black helmet, blue jersey, and black pants setup last year, but it never happened. Not sure why. So overall, the Panthers are a classic, though I suspect David Tepper has a redesign in line soon. I just know they'll screw it up like Tepper has done to the team. Come back tomorrow in A-Town where we'll examine the Atlanta Falcons.